What up, gang, gang? What up, squad? Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you're new here, could you please like, comment, and subscribe? And don't forget to hit that bell to notify you when I upload a new video. Scratch all that. The reason why I made this video is because I wanted to talk a little bit about life after COVID, after you're diagnosed, after your sickness and what you go through, uh, what people still go through and how it affects them after. People don't really too much talk about it, but I feel like I should. Uh, I had COVID December the 26th is when I was diagnosed with it. Um, and my husband wasn't feeling well, so we went to the ER and, uh, get tested what we found out we were positive um i start feeling my symptoms two days after i was tested we originally went because he wasn't feeling well uh and he had a temperature and it was wearing me so uh we went and we got tested and uh he was he had a fever uh headaches that were very very bad body aches and his joints uh his fever got up to 102 which freaked me out so we went and that's what we found out uh two days later after i got uh, tested is when i had my symptoms uh i was way worse than my husband um i didn't have a fever i still had uh, my sense of taste and smell that never left me um but what i did have is achy joints, uh, throwing up, um, uh, diarrhea. Uh, my body felt like pins and needles were all over from head to toe. The pain was so excruciating where I had to go back to the ER um, for medication, for pain medication, because nothing I was taking over the counter was helping me. Um, so after those three days of hell um, of me really hurting really bad and I'm not baiting to have uh, no appetite, I uh, start feeling a little better. And then uh, maybe five days later, I went back to work and on with my daily routines of my life. Um, what I noticed after COVID uh, you don't, well, me personally, um, I'm going off my experience, um, my energy level, it was horrible. Um, I say my energy now, um, is maybe a 75 and that's it on a best, on a good day. Um, but it's, it's like, it's taking forever for me to get my full throttle, you know, back up, um, my appetite is still weird. Um, things taste different, if that makes sense. Uh, rubbery, plastic, fake. I really don't have an appetite like that. Um, it has not gotten better, neither. Um, what else? Um, appetite, my energy. Oh, I still have these aches and pains uh, that I get throughout my legs and my joints periodically. They come and they go. I never experienced that. Um, and then my menstrual cycle, it has been completely off. Weird, um, staying on for longer, bleeding heavier, uh, things of that nature. And that started um, shortly after I got vaccinated. That's a whole nother story. Uh, put a thumbs up if you want to hear that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just, and all in all, I'm grateful that I'm here. I'm blessed that I'm alive, uh, that I can go to work, that I can go to the gym, uh, that I can go back around my family. I miss so many people that lost their lives due to COVID and, uh, me and my husband were spared. Um, I'm more aware now. I used to wash my hands a lot and wear my mask. Now I'm washing 
hand sanitizing, Lysol spraying. Oh my God, I think I'm OCD now um, after getting the virus. Um, my breathing is not completely where it needs to be neither. Um, I find myself short, uh, short of breath. <clears throat> I still have a cough that comes and goes that hasn't dried completely up yet. <clears throat> It hasn't been a month yet, but uh, at least three weeks for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm just grateful for being here, you know, blessed. So, you know, I'm just asking you guys, if you're not vaccinated, please, 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 please go get vaccinated. I really feel like if I wasn't vaccinated, I really wouldn't be here. Um, I feel like that vaccination helped me a lot. I will be going to get the booster shot. Um, I feel like that vaccination scared me. I mean, saved me. It built my immune system up to better tolerate it. You know, even though I went through the pain that I went through, I know it could have been worse. I've seen so many people that have lost their loved ones or that's not the same or that can't even walk and that's wheelchair bound after COVID. So, um, you know, that goes through rehab and everything else. I didn't have to do that. So God is good. Amen. But I just want to tell you guys, if you're not vaccinated, please, 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 please get vaccinated. Please keep wearing your mask. Keep practicing good hand washing and good hygiene. It is so critical for the next generation for you guys to do this. Without that next generation, um, we will die off, you know, and um, we don't want that. You know, we want to be able to save the next generation um and be here longer we've lost um so many people around the world um you know so yeah get vaccinated um and practice everything the cdc is asking us to do and yeah that's my life story after covid and i'm thinking i contracted covid from work from um, a supervisor but it's neither here nor there she didn't know at the time that she had it um if she did i would hope she would have stayed home quarantined herself and got tested but unfortunately she didn't get tested to after i called and let her know that i was covid positive and then she proceeded to tell me that she was under the weather and um, i'll go get tested to make sure i'm not sick and lo and behold she was um we had a christmas party that week and um, we exchanged gifts and she was my secret santa so her gift was infected that she gave me that I brought into my house. <laughs> Go figure. But I'm not pointing any fingers. <laughs> um, it happens. And I'm just happy that my body was able to tolerate it and help fight it off. And that I am here. So yes, once again, I can't stress it enough. Please, if you're not vaccinated, go get vaccinated. COVID is just not for two weeks. Um, COVID has a lasting effects um after um if you look up online there's so many cases of women losing their hair after covid their menstrual cycle um their skin uh their breathing oh it's a lot so yeah covid don't just stop after two weeks so please 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 go get vaccinated if you're not uh yeah i just wanted to tell my little story my life after covid uh to let you know that it's not a game and it's not a joke so yeah don't forget to just subscribe like the video until next time bye guys take it easy see you soon <laughs>wait a minute you guys are still there i thought i stopped you guys <sighs> you want to stay longer i don't have anything to talk about i just wanted to let you guys know what i went through with covid and how i overcame it because i am a champion and god smiles upon me <laughs> you know because i am one of his children one of his daughters but yeah you guys need to get out of my house i'm tired i have to hit the gym in the morning and I have to go to work. 
so it is after 10 o'clock so it's my bedtime i'm oldie but goodie bye guys